You can think yourself into a depression. You can think your way into stress. You can think your way into misery, frustration. There's so much more power in the mind than you probably like to give yourself credit for. When you wake up in the morning after seeing this video, I want you to decide to think happy thoughts and hang around and consume yourself with happy things and people. And you will find yourself feeling like your mood and your energy is better. We are all a work in progress. We are all a work in progress. Trying to climb our way up the spiritual ladder. Do better, be better. Trying our best to not put our, our hands and our legs on obvious landmines and making mistakes. No one's perfect. But I just want to remind you of the power of the mind. You can create the outcome of your hour, your week, your month and your year you just have to decide in your mind what you want it to be some of y'all are struggling with depression and being sad and just being in this blue funk and you can't shake it but I do know and I recognize that it does exist but there's a more power in the mind than you probably like to think and give yourself credit for. If your life and your surroundings is a nightmare while you're awake, those same nightmares are gonna continue until you sleep. Because the mind doesn't turn off because you close your eyes to go to sleep and rest. You can think yourself into a depression. Keep thinking and replaying and thinking and replaying, playing the same shit over and over and over in your mind. And then your body naturally will feel the effects of what you've created in your mind. And a lot of you guys are on the receiving end of something that happened to you, a heartbreak a situation, disrespect, feeling vulnerable, feeling like someone or a situation has caused you to be on the receiving end. And so you're feeling the effects of losing a grandmother, a grandfather, a friend, a family member, a cousin, your best friend, dealing with the trauma and the psychological effects of losing your child, a car accident, Maybe something that you witnessed. And so it's very natural for something that you've experienced to replay in your mind over and over and over. But if you change your mind, it'll change your life. There's more power in the mind than you'd like to give credit for. Change your mind. Decide that you love yourself enough to not surround yourself with people, things, and situations that can have your mind continuing to spiral down this negative and dysfunctional train. Be kind to yourself. You are actually doing the best you can. Be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself. Don't drive yourself crazy. You are actually doing the best you can. I don't remember the last time I lost sleep over a hater.
because I stopped giving haters permission to affect my life, my day, my month, and my year. If someone has something to say and it actually makes sense, you're going to help me to grow, mature, consider new thoughts and feelings, views and perspectives that don't exist. But for people that go out of their way to try and reflect their negativity and their hate and their animosity and their own life's insecurities and frustrations out on you, I've disowned you. And so you don't have any effects on me. And I want those people out there that can relate to that to join me. There is a mature way to listen to critiques, criticism, feedback, and comments, insight, and information. Hurt people will go out of their way to hurt people. Insecure people will go above and beyond to create insecurities. Negative people will see to it that you feel the negative effects of who they are. Haters have a job to do. They hate. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to allow what your intentions are to affect me. I love myself enough to where I've created a force field away from negative people with negative intentions towards my life. There's a lot of power in the mind. And I'm just asking that you stop thinking your way into a depression. Your mind is a battlefield. Your mind is the battlefield. Because there's so much turmoil, trauma, and dysfunction playing out in your mind. And you're physically experiencing the effects of your mind. Pray on it. You can't be stressed, depressed, miserable, frustrated over the things that God has given you clarity over. And it doesn't mean that after you get clarity that whatever you're going through is going to go away. But you're going to feel the burden and the stress and the psychological effects that it's been having on you to get lifted off of you because you have clarity. There's a lot of power in the mind. And if you didn't know that, I just wanted to make you aware of that. <laughs>